Boys, we're on our way to Adlevik. We're going over to get a Christmas tree, do a little troutin' and whatnot. And Gerald just went up there. There was a couple of, of white parrots just went up that way. He just had a shot. Uh, just me and Gerald going today because uh, we've got to see what the ice is like in the bottom of Adlevik. But uh, anyway, it's going to be a fantastic trip. I guarantee you that. Two seals are on the leash. Two, four, six, eight, nine, dozen or more there. And we gotta go on in around the bottom and go across. Drill's cabin's over there, so not a lot of leash here in Adelbeck yet, but uh, there's one bad spot over on the other side that we gotta go around. We'll see that now once, but look at that. So hopefully we'll get a seal this trip as well. For some reason, I feel hungry for trout already. Yep. Yes, sir. Good. Now, we got the fire going, the heater up, get a few things straight and away, and then we're going to go up the brook, get our water, and have a have a try for a trout. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get a couple for supper. Yep. Then anyway, I'm just going to get some gear straight and away here now, and... Uh, and yeah, it's good to be here, man! Well, uh, Gerald's gone back to the cabin with the Oisag, or uh, can't get her going there, she froze up. But I managed to, to chop a hole through there with the axe, and we fill up her water jars, and he's gone out to tie out the, the Oisag. But I got a hole big enough through here now to I can haul a fair size trout up through there, I guess. <laughs> uh, yeah, near buoyed yet, but the water's uh, soon starting to rise, and that's when uh, the trout will run in through the channel here now, and uh, and hopefully uh, just wants enough for a meal, that's all, for a supper. That'd be real nice. Well, guys, I, uh, I had these boots sent me a while ago you know uh, uh just to try test and use and i've been using them for a while out hunting and fishing and doing whatever and uh 
So I said, well, take them down to McCovic with me and then we're warm over here to Adlavik. Well, guys, I was just thinking about uh, cutting another hole uh, just in a little bit from this one. Uh, the channel's a little more in that way. And just like that, I hauled up a trout. So we got to start. <laughs> well, another one or two, and I have enough for our supper. Oh, look at that beautiful trout right there. Just look at that. Ho, ho, ho. Compared to the other ones, huh? Now, uh, I put my other hook down. Uh, there's a big lump of ice there making on my line. I want to haul it up. I got like a snarl. A knot tied in there. I'll try to get that out there now. Like that, yeah. Whew, nippy on the fingers, I'll tell you. Well, guys, I just had a big one on, and I I couldn't get it started in the hole. The hole's not very big down there. I had not for a nice little bit, but there was no way to get the phone out in time. Oh, he was big. Oh, oh, oh. It happens. The big one do get away sometimes, yep. Still not working good. Just look at that. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful, beautiful trout. Look at that. I was just getting ready to go. I must stay a little while longer now. <laughs> it don't take long for him to freeze. Anyway, that's enough for our supper. That's all I really wanted. So, uh, I'm well satisfied. Man, I tell you, it's great to be back here. Yeah, it froze a bit, but then that froze too hard. Spoon. Now tonight we're going to fry these. Just look at the beautiful color of that trout. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, what a supper this is going to be. Look at the blast freezer. Got a little bit squish. Don't want to affect the flavor. Man, I'll tell you. 